All right. Uh, <laughs> can I get everybody's attention? Um, is everybody, can everybody see me? Um, so my name is Mark Denebaum, and I host, I host a goofy podcast called What a Week. Every, every Friday we record it. Every Monday we release it. And uh, I just want to thank everybody for being here. Um, I want to let you guys know that, you know, this is probably something you've wanted to see. But if everybody can keep calm, keep your decorum, uh, be respectful. Um, this is this will hopefully be a nuanced discussion that you usually don't get to hear. <laughs> hopefully. Um, Jesus. anybody who has a toy from toys for tots, um. please make sure that you, you put it in there. Cause that's what hopefully this is all about. Um, it's important to remember a couple of things that these, these are human beings. They're Americans with different opinions. Mm -hmm. Um, the thought in all of this is to temper the rhetoric and see if we can find an equal footing of understanding so that we can all get to be better as human beings in a community. I hope everyone in here can appreciate that. Um, and when we're done, this will be unedited up on YouTube, Spotify, Apple podcasts tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> um, and I just want to say for me, uh, this guy over here, it takes a lot of guts to come here. So I, I don't know if anybody wants to give him a round of applause, but for me, we should. <laughs> So I, there's really no agreed upon format. There's no. No, I didn't know anything about just, any of this. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry to surprise you. I gotta tell you, you know, it's pretty. Just, just, a, it's just pretty, a conversation. And well, hey, there's nothing gotcha about this. There should never. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. There's no, nothing I mean gotcha is, about no, no, no. this. I mean, I'm sitting on a podcast. Nobody said anything about fun. this. Um, oh yeah, I'm sure it will. Hey, hey, Chris, for for what it's worth, I didn't even know this was going to be a podcast. Really? Honest to God, did you, you guys know contact this? me? And tell me I did not contact. No, I talked to Mark. Ah. And he said it was okay. No, nobody. Yeah. My name is Mark Denebaum. Scranton. No, none. Yeah, zero. Apolitical. I have nothing to do with anything. No. Oh, no. Or you can move no. back a little. That, that would work too. No. <laughs> so we want to, we, yeah, we want to be helpful, but this is. Let me is get one the, of those waters. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. Okay. So I got to tell you, my first impulse is to walk out of here. Cause I, didn't I don't come, blame you. I didn't come here for this. This, yeah. this is not, this is not honest. This is not anything anybody told me about. But I'll, I'll humor you for a while. I appreciate it. Right. Thank but you. when I ask a question, because we're all here, because Teddy point. won't answer my questions. Well, let's 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 get to the all root right. of that. When yeah. I ask a question, he either answers it or I walk. That's so, it. So how do you want to? How do you want it? So he only so you can me, ask the question. Let me start then. Let me start. Okay. It's all your show, man. All right. So with answering answering the questions. Okay. And Chris, you, you've been around long enough. You know this. I don't take questions from reporters on a phone. You send them to me an email. Uh, Boris from the Times always sends stuff to me in email. And I found out that when you speak to journalists on the phone, mm -hmm. nine times out of 10, you get misquoted or they don't quote you at all, or they write what they want to write regardless of what your statement That's is. That's not me. Yes. It's not me. Okay. You never gave me the opportunity. And and I just want to say, this is the first time that we have actually it is. met each other. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And political differences aside. Sure. Okay. Political differences aside. We've gone at each other pretty hard. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, unfortunately, that's the business. To it a degree. is what it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. And again, this being the first time that we have actually sat down, talked with each other. Yeah. Met each other. We had a smoke together outside. We did. Okay. We did. Chris, I don't hate you. What brand do you smoke anyway? I didn't ask. Marlboro Lights. Oh, you see. Both Marlboro Lights. I got right. Cowboy Killers. I mean, All, right. Camels. All right. I got them on smokes, folks. <laughs> Already beat on so, smokes. I just want you to know, I don't hate you. I don't hate you either. I don't I, hate anybody. I don't think you're a bad person. 
I don't think you're I a bad disagree, person. I disagree, however, with the tone and the rhetoric of the opinion piece. That's fair. Okay. That's fair. So. And I did lay it on thick. But I was trying to get your goat, man. But here's the thing. I was trying to get a response. It's not just me that you lay it on thick. Yeah. It's other people. Who? It's other people. Who? You laid it on Kelly Barrett. But I did good. not. Her own father told me he didn't think I beat her up in that column. Her own well, father. He, he actually talked to me. <laughs> oh, now he talked to you. The next day. Oh, yeah. I got a phone call that morning from him. Yeah. yeah. Well. He did. I Look. I, I hey, let me explain. If you want me, an explanation of the yeah. column, it's and you know it, it actually speaks to you. You know when I talk about you as an alleged candidate, which that's loaded. I'm you know what I mean. I look, I'm not, I'm not always right. I am not always uh, delicate. <laughs> that's just not my style. That's not where I come from, yeah, buddy. You know that's not and my that's style. Grand, either. That's Grant, man. This is bare knuckles town. Okay, right. It's the way it is, but. Uh, my soul, the genesis of that column was that I didn't understand why Kelly would advertise uh, an endorsement from you. And here's why. She already has the MAGA vote down. All those people are going to vote for her, right? She needs, elections are one of the margins. This is, this is the thing I have about you and whether you're a viable candidate. You raised a lot of money and all that other stuff, but you can't win just with the MAGA base. You got it. Elections are one on the margins. You got to, and I've been doing this a long time, like you said, you got to convince other people outside of that base to vote for you. If you if you do end up beating Bognet, he beat you by a field goal last time. You get that? <laughs> All right. I got to laugh. Um, you're going to have to, you're going to have to take votes away from Matt Cartwright. And that's easy to do with the MAGA crowd and the people that you have. But you got to convince all these other people that have been voting for Matt Cartwright that well, you okay. are not a crazy bully and all this other stuff. You, you have to do that. You have to. So what, what I was well, saying who, who is. Who labeled me as a crazy bully? Well, a lot of people think you're a crazy bully. Teddy. But who puts it in the paper? I have. Yeah. Yeah. You're saying you're not. Do I look like one? <laughs> I don't know. Not tonight. You don't. Not tonight. In your, in your videos, you do. And again. You, you know all about shock factor. I do. Okay. That's why when I'm called on it by someone who uses it, it's a little amusing. Okay. And that's fair. Sure. I'll give you that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, this January 6th, this rhetoric that the media continues mm. to pound on. Okay. I'm and, glad you brought this up, by the way, but go ahead. Yeah, definitely. And I think this is a conversation that needs to be had. Mm. Okay. The January 6th rhetoric. Uh, the big insurrection, you have written that I am a foot soldier in the coup against America. Yes. Um, I, I just, I want to ask this question. What laws did I break? See, I don't know, but that leads to my question. Did you, did you go inside the Capitol on January 6th? Chris. Did you go, no. Did you go in the building? It's a yes or no question. No, I did not. Okay. That's good. Okay. Why not? Well, wait, wait a second. The whole no, I'm mean, asking you why he didn't commit a crime. No, right. I'm asking. No, I yeah. mean, your campaign manager went in. I mean, he lied about it when he got Whoa, back. Who, but who's he's, my campaign manager? Well, it was Frank Scavo at one Frank time. Frank Scavo is not my campaign well, manager. Well, anyway, all right. So he's not anymore. Okay. Frank Scavo is a friend of mine. Yeah, I know. Okay. But he did it. He lied when he got back, but now he's, okay. he's pleaded guilty but, to it. Wait, let me just let me finish. On, I, I no, promise. Hold on, Chris. But is that me? No, it's not you. Okay. See, the, the question, everybody, I mean, you know how many people are looking at this. They're scanning the videos yeah. and all that other stuff. They're all over Twitter and everything exactly. else. Exactly. And, and Chris, I don't blend. They have. Okay? No, you don't. <laughs> right, right. If that's, I was in right. the Capitol, right. they would have known about it. Right. You know what I mean? You're, you weren't in there. I mean, that's that's the thing. Exactly. I, I haven't seen any evidence you were inside. So I just, I want to know. What I don't know, understand is wait, why. Hold on, hold on. What were you thinking? You did the video from the steps where you said, I am here. Yes, I'm and here. And God bless our great patriots. And they were going in to stop the certification of an election they believe was stolen. What stopped you from going in there? Was it because it was illegal or what? What My what thought was, what you? purpose would it serve me to go inside? Fair enough. Okay. And, you know, let's be honest. There's, there's two. There's a right-wing media outlet and there's a left-wing yeah. media outlet. Mm -hmm. Okay. My goal is 
And Chris, I watch both. I follow both. Mm -hmm. Okay. To see what the narrative is. Now, my, you've heard the story of the feds organizing this yeah. and everything else. It's crap. Okay. Well, and again, that's your opinion. <laughs> no. We don't know. See, and this is where we get into trouble. We're not talking about a difference of opinion. We're talking about a difference of fact. Well, hold on. So what makes it fact I watched opinion? it happen. And I, I watched, did There's too. no and, evidence. And here's the no thing. We, we, can, we can go on this all night See, with the magnetic okay, okay, okay. I'm not right, going to do that. I'm not going to do with that. With everything. But I'm not I'm, going I'm, down the now, Q my rabbit hole. It's not happening. My question is, what law did I break? Well, I don't know. You did go past the police barricades. There were no police barricades. Well, they weren't there because people like Frank and, and others ripped them away. Okay, so hold on. So I went past the imaginary FBI. barricades. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. the FBI and all this other hold crap. On. It's hold crap. Let, okay, hold on. One at a time. So, so can you admit that I did not commit a crime that day? Or that you have no... Okay. I know that's I don't a hard know answer. that you committed a crime. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what I don't know you what You don't the, know uh, if don't, I committed a crime. Don't you think that after 10 months mm. they would have Yeah. So I think they would have cool. they would have yeah, come after press charges so, or something. They would have done it. Okay. Do you know and, and you do know this that insurrection is a crime. That that is a federal felony. Yes. Do you know of anybody who's been called or who has been charged. I know a lot of people who have been called insurrection. So, so it's a question of semantics. No, right. it's a question of law. <laughs> All right. I'll I mean, has that. anyone been charged with? I don't know. No. 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 All right. So it's the word that you have a problem with. Well, I mean, it's like calling well, somebody, it's it's like calling so somebody me, something that me, they are Chris, to me. So hold what, on, hold what, on, hold well, on. what, guys, hold on. What, if anything, were they guilty of? To me, that is no different than calling somebody a murderer, a rapist, yeah. a child molester, okay? Yeah. When you call somebody an insurrectionist, mm -hmm. that implies that they are guilty and have been charged with committing an insurrection. That is your interpretation. Okay, but, but see, it's the tone of the columns. <sighs> Chris, that is my issue. You know what? I, this that, is, that, this honestly, is the thing that makes having, me laugh. We're you, talk, no, wait, hold on, hold on. You, you talked about hypocrisy and, you know, it just makes me laugh because I, you know, and I think, you know, and maybe it's not you, but so many Republicans today are the biggest mm -hmm. snowflakes there are because everything is, uh, is an attack. Everything is an attack on you. It doesn't matter what, what I say or what I write. Now I do. I do. You mean, you mean everything you write? Everything I yeah, write yeah. doesn't matter. Now, you know, and that's another thing. It's funny. Uh, I saw people that were saying, you know, Kelly never goes after Democrats. He's, he's only got after Republicans. Dude, ask the, ask the city Democratic machine about that. Okay. Or the generations and ask, ask Bill Courtright about that. And I love that. Somebody said, Oh, he only jumped on Courtright at the end. Bull, you know. All right. I can't, I can't, you know, I write for a family newspaper. I can't use the word I want to. That's crap. Okay. I have been after more Democrats by far. Than Republicans simply because it's a target rich environment. There don't, there aren't many elected Republicans. Okay. And the last ones who were commissioner both went to prison. One of them remains a friend of mine. So, you know, just everybody loves me. It's like Mark. Mark used to love me when I was going after the, when I was going after the Democrats. He loved it. We used to talk on Facebook and all that other stuff. Right. And like I said, we broke up over Trump, you know, and I, look, I don't remember calling him a fascist. If I did, that was wrong. And I apologize. I apologize to him out there. Okay. But he kept filling my trunk, my feet up with Trump crap and I didn't want it. And I, I told people, I just got rid of a lot of people because it was making me uh, more do, and more do you, angry. I do don't mean need filling that. up your feed like with his posts. Yeah. On Facebook. It just yeah. kept showing up all this Trump crap because I followed him. So let me, let me, let me ask you this then. And not today's piece, but yeah, I'll be honest. I've been so busy today. I did not even get a chance to sit down and do a video. Today. Yeah, it was, <laughs> okay. I've been too busy. Very disappointing. I know. I know. So, but yesterday, was it yesterday or the day before? I think it was the day before. It, yeah. Um, you wrote that you don't so much have a problem with me. Mm -hmm. You have a problem with what I represent. Yes. And what exactly is it that you feel I represent? Well, uh, Trumpism, frankly. 
And what's wrong with... Well, with what is that? Okay. Can, can we define that? Yeah, let's look, define look, Trumpism. Yeah, can we define that? Define Trumpism. Okay, well, you know, I mean, he lost. That's, that's... Okay, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There it is. Whoa, there you go. Hey, see, whoa. there it is. This is... Whoa. Keep it, keep it, <laughs> keep it respectful. Keep it respectful. <laughs> he lost. That's not a matter of opinion. It's a matter of fact. And until it's proven otherwise, it's a fact. But what is that? Like, what is yeah, Trumpism? Yeah, but what is Trumpism? Trumpism is, you know, it's it's the whole thing. It's the way, you know, it's the way you can talk to other people. It's the way you, uh, you know, and, and this is you, right? We're talking about you because I don't want to, you know. No, that's I don't fine. Go beyond talk that, about you me. Know? Yeah, yeah. Talk about you know, me. you went out. You know, he made it okay, right? For people to go out, for you to go out and say, "I'm a drunk who smells like cat piss" and all that other stuff to say the rottenest shit you can think of, right? He made that okay. So when I but push did he, back but wait, a little did bit, did he make that okay, or yeah, did people did. always do that? No, no. When, 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 when people were always ready to do that, or were they just okay reticent to do, to do it? He made he made it okay for them to do it. Well, okay, and, and, and it was I'll always tell you this, there, Chris. Uh, and now I, I get I get accused of being indelicate. Please. I get accused of being indelicate, right? When I use the same tactic, you've been on Tucker Carlson a few times. Yeah, you think Tuck, Tucker plays uh, plays. Without because gloves? he doesn't yeah. mess around, right? And, and, I think, and you love, and your friend is Steve Bannon's. Yes, right. You, I got anybody a problem. who reads your article will know that. Well, that's true. Okay, but that's but what you, I'm talking think, about. I'm talking think, about Trump. Is, I'm talking about the continued, the, the continued to push to delegitimize the freest and fairest election in this nation's history. And that's what it is. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, 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 what listen, 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 listen. So. You can sit there with a straight face. I just did. Okay. And tell everybody that Joe Biden is the most popular president no. in American no. history. No, I can't say that. Okay. And it also has nothing to do with the votes. What, what does it have to do with the votes? If he legitimately won the election. <laughs> okay. Yeah. See, Chris, I, come see on. here's here's where I have an issue with it, right? Sure. Is that is that I can neither prove nor deny that those statements are true on either side. Mm -hmm. So to say that like it's a it's an affirmative that it's a definite, I don't I don't I think that's a little disingenuous because people are already saying like, oh, it's the freest, fairest, most amazing, and we know I that in the past that. there's who's been, in the White House, Joe Biden. No one's denying right. that. Yeah. No one's denying that. Yeah. And why is it? Can we all agree that Joe Biden is in the White House? Or there's some few yes. folks here who think it's a soundstage and Guys, all that stuff. Guys, please, please. So, but he's, please. all right, there it is. There it is. He's not in charge. Someone just said he's not in yeah. charge. And there's this whole idea that Trump is actually, or the military is actually running the government. No, we, we no, no, no. Hey, guys, we, guys. we know, we know. Guys, hey, hold guys, on. This is between these two guys. Yeah, yeah. We know, we know that Joe Biden is a puppet for the liberal wing of the party. He can't we see know that. He can't seem to get them to agree with him on anything, though. He's not moving either but of his bills. But we know that. The problem is, is when you serve too many masters, yeah. you can't make them all happy. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, you know, and, and this is the other thing that bothers me, too. Everybody is stuck on January 6th, insurrection, 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 insurrection. I'm looking are, forward are, to the next one. Our, Tuesday? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Here's the thing, too. I'm glad you brought that up. Say he's leading me in this now. Okay. <laughs> because you brought up that there is another coup happening right here in our own backyard. Yes. What is that? Nobody's told well, me. Well, I'm talking it. about your friends out in Greeley, uh, the Rod of Iron Ministries people and Steve Bannon. And I mean, you know, that guy, he gets up. All right. He gets up in Wait, his bullet on. crown and talks about revolution all the time, man. Okay. So let me tell you this. Chris, we are still a country ruled by a constitution. Yes. Okay. Thank God. And in that constitution is your right to free speech. Yes. Okay. Freedom of religion. Yes. And freedom of the press. Absolutely. Now, the freedom of the press was included in that First Amendment. Yes. To give the average person a voice to be able to criticize their government without retaliation. Absolutely. Okay. But what has happened now in today's society is the press is now an arm of the government <laughs> to go after the people. Yeah. Well, that's the way you see it. Chris, well, do you think you, people hold, should hold be on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. 
You yourself, after January 6th, mm-hmm. were putting out columns and articles how you were calling the FBI and no. you've been in touch with this person and that person trying to get mm-hmm. Frank Scavo charged. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not accurate. That's not accurate. No. All right, what happened? I was trying to get Frank to tell the truth about what he did down there. Trust me, the FBI doesn't need me to send them tips. Now, my readers, a lot of them, called the FBI. I do know. I I know they did because you prompted them (laughs) to do so. So I control their minds and what they do. Okay. You prompted them. And you know, remember that I'm, I'm a failed journalist at a newspaper nobody reads. Remember that. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yeah, Hold on. Hold on. We're being respectful. Well, you're still employed. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're being respectful. Still pay me. Yeah, you're still getting paid. As long paid. as they pay me, I'll keep going in. Yeah, yeah. You know what but I'm Chris, saying? explain to me the difference between- It's the only between, good job I ever had. Explain to me the difference between- Welcome to Large Street. Yep. <laughs> the difference between an opinion writer and a news writer. Oh, I will, I will gladly explain that because a lot of my critics pretend they don't know that difference or either don't know it. So I'll tell you. What I write is reported opinion, all right? I gather facts, I do reporting, I talk to people, then I decide what I think that means, and then I write it. So you gather facts, like writing like- The idea that I should play it, people are like, why don't you play it down the middle? Because that's not my job, man. I'm paid to take a side. Can I, can I ask you a question? Don't yeah. you think that should be, there should be an opposing viewpoint to your point of view? We run some conservative columns. But like, is there, an in-house, is there an in-house like conservative no, reporter? We, used, we had a conservative, uh, we used to, uh, you know, John Cole. So are they freelance or are they? No, we don't. I mean, we have John Cole, the guy who illustrates my column. He's, yeah. he's, he's, a, he's a good artist. Old school conservative, but he's, you know, he's, he's, you know, he's not happy with what's going on on that side of the aisle. I so, mean, I don't know what you want me to say. I don't want, I'm, I'm, an, opinion, your, your I'm opinion. an opinion writer and people pretend that that's not true. You know, and, and it's not, you know, it's not my job to take it down the middle. I'll talk to anybody. And I'll try to talk to both sides. But, you know, this is another problem that uh, happened to journalism. You know, it got really bad in the 90s and carried into the aughts. And it's it's this he said, she said stuff. Mm -hmm. You talk to one side, they say blah, blah, blah. You talk to the other side, no, it's blah, blah, blah. And nobody does the work in the middle. The reporting. Well, what is this guy is what this guy says? Can it does it square with the facts? And what this guy says, does it square with the facts? We got away from that. I mean, there's a lot of problems with the media. I think too many people wanted to see who was first rather than who was right. Maybe. Do you think okay. that that might be a symptom of, of even, even today? Like right in this room right now? Where it's, what? That there is no opposi- opposing, like he said, she said. It's more, I, th- I think, I I think, think what's happening any... here is that, you know, it's, it's what you said. and not, I, Look, I am who I, I am. So everything that I write goes through the filter of who I am. So I don't pretend that that's me, not true. Me, Chris, now you, you've seen my campaign ad. I, I okay. Did, yes, a million times. All I right. love it. And, and I know... I know you're disappointed I didn't show up tonight in a sleeveless Harley shirt with a battle axe in each hand with a hockey mask on. I actually, went, okay, yeah. <laughs> Throwing body been, parts I up was, against the wall. Yeah, with Halloween coming up, I was hoping. All right, you know bit, what I mean, you know, okay? Yeah, yeah. This is so, the Halloween outfit. So, but Chris, you, you've seen my ad. Yeah. You and I think everybody else who knows me knows. Yes. I'm not a big fan of the GOP either. I know that. And dude, that's one okay. of the few things I like about you. I am not. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. You like a thing. This is no, good. That's it. It's yeah, one of the few good. things I like about yes. Teddy. And, and, and I'll is, tell you is, this. Is, is that I think he's disgusted with both parties, which so am I. Yeah. It just so happens that only one party right now is trying to tear down a republic. Now, you may not agree with me, but the Republicans right now are a clear and present danger. Shh. Hey, the Democrats can't do anything. You know, one of my favorite quotes about the Democrats, Will Rogers, right? One of the great American humorists. He said, I don't belong to any organized party. I'm a Democrat. And that's absolutely true. These guys, you know, I don't, I don't, I voted for Joe Biden. No. Right? No, no, because he was my only choice. Would you have rather had a, a better choice? Yeah, of, well, of course. They'd rather, rather had a better choice than a 78-year-old guy who's been yeah. in government for 45 years. Yeah. Yeah. But I didn't get presented that choice. And I think there's a lot of frustration that we all share. Do you think that's a party problem, though? Diff- yeah, it, absolutely. But you're only, you're only ever going to have two parties. The Green Party, I'll tell you, I love these people. I have a lot of, I love a lot of friends. I have a friend I work with, right? Back in 2000, when, when Gore Bush, right? Mm-hmm. This guy voted for Ralph Nader, right? Ralph Nader. Yeah. Now, there was people like last time who voted for the Green candidate. That's great. But who he really voted for was Bush. 
And he doesn't want to accept that. And that's cool. If you voted for Bush, vote for Bush. But you voted for Nader, you voted for Bush because you took a vote away right. from Al Gore. Right. right? Yes. And it's just that simple. I mean, I look, I would be an independent. I really would if I could still vote in the primaries. You know what I mean? That's, Pennsylvania should have an open primary. Well, it should have an open primary. Yeah. I can't help decide who the nominee is if I can't vote. Yep. Now, I'm a Democrat. I can't be a Republican because those people hate me. They hate, oh, no, wait, wait, yeah. All I ever hear from Fox or talk radio or bright, whatever it is, whatever it is, uh, is about how me and mine are the enemies of the people. This is from your own president. We're enemies of the people. We're communists. We're socialists. We're pedophiles. We're all this horrible shit. We're stinky Nobody drunks. Nobody ever said you were pedophiles. Be. No, no, no. It, it happens all the time. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. No, it's out there. It's out there. Okay. Let's, let's not pretend. Again, okay. The whole Q thing here's, is about satanic here's, pedophiles. Here's, here's the Please. problem. Here's, here's the problem. Okay. I can't stand the political game that goes on in the GOP. Yeah. Okay. And I can't stand what is happening to the Democrat Party right now. Mm -hmm. Now, this is not the same Democrat Party today that it was in the Kennedy era. Yeah. Neither is it the same Republican it's Party. It's not. Okay. And what we have here in Northeast PA is we have a large uniparty. Uniparty. A uniparty. You see it in Luzerne. What does that mean? They're all in bed with each other and they're all in it. They will play either side for their own political careers or futures. Okay. And that's what they do. It's not really new to me, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. To me, it's about what do my morals tell me? Mm -hmm. Where do I fit in? Yeah. Okay. Now I'll tell you this. <coughs> Trump Excuse was me. a guy Sorry. who brought me into politics. I never really paid attention before. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. He was a man that made me start paying attention. Why? I think he exposed a lot of things that a lot of people had no idea happened in the political realm. He exposed things that. Like what? Happened in D.C. Like what? Give me okay, an example. I'll tell you what. E even in the Republican primary debates with Trump, mm -hmm. when he gave an answer and everybody booed. <laughs> and and he said, those are all Jeb Bush's donors right there in the front row. And I started to, you know what? Yeah. That's how it works. That's how it works. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I think the American people right now, Chris, are fed up with the Democrat Party. Absolutely. And they're fed up with the establishment Republican yes. Party. There we are. Okay. There we are. Is that one thing? That we can agree on. Well, this is the thing I was going to say. You know, you voted for Trump because he was a big middle finger to the establishment. Absolutely. That's it. And I get Absolutely. that, man. I felt the same way. I just didn't think he was the he was the vessel. I Look, I'll say this. Trump is the president we deserved. At that time, Thank he's, God. he's the president we deserved. Because our politics are ridiculous. And, they are. And, and Congress is a joke on both sides. I, you know, they look, are. You I understand the frustration. I, look. I'm a blue collar guy. I grew up. This is the only job I ever had where I had to wear a clean shirt, mostly clean <laughs> shirt. Seriously. I'm a grandson of farmers. I grew up, you know, I, you know, working class. I look, I get the frustration. I remember, you know, I failed out of college the first time because there was a bar across the street. You know, I've been open about that. Stuff, been there. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. So, <laughs> so, uh, you know, I worked every job, every crap job you can imagine. In fact, I actually worked a crap job. I shoveled sheep shit in barns for $4 an hour. Mm -hmm. I almost killed everybody there one day when I went to light a cigarette. And oh, all Jesus. the ammonia was like, yeah. actually dove and slapped it out of my mouth. But like, I know what it's like to not have any hope. I know what it's like to look in the one ads every day and there's nothing you're qualified for. There's no jobs and nothing that pays anything. You keep paying your taxes, you keep paying your bills, you keep working, going to work and you don't get anything. You don't get ahead. I get all that stuff. I'm very blessed to have a better job than I used to, but that's because I went back to school. Right. And I actually worked and I got an internship and I worked and I worked my way up and that's mm -hmm. how I got to be where I am. I was very blessed with opportunities, but I worked for it. Okay? Exactly. And this is what I'm going to say. A lot of people got left behind, right? But a lot of those people got left behind because they're standing still. You're absolutely I, right. And that's where I have a problem. You're going to stand still. Don't bitch about being left behind. Okay. 
Now, I understand the rage and disappointment that fueled Trump's rise. I it was, it was, it was, it was, I look, look who he ran against. Exactly. You yeah. know what I mean? It's, it's Hillary. It's, you could, I, I remember it was you so funny. You can't get more, and I'm going to use the word deep state right. corrupt than Hillary. Well, Clinton. and here's the thing, right? Before, without even going into that stuff, it's like, here's another example of me being critical of a Democrat. And the Hillary people were so mad at me, readers and people in the campaign, because I just pointed out obvious things. Remember that time when she went to that, she went to a gas station, right? She was going to be, she's going to go to a gas station to talk to regular people getting gas. She didn't know how to use the pump. Yeah. Really? No, she yeah. didn't know how to use True it. True story. You know what I mean? She, it was like Bush when he didn't know what the scanner was. When the, mm -hmm. you know when the, when the, when milk went across. I mean, this is this is this is where we're we can agree on the disappointment. I don't think that rage is particularly constructive. I just what 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 amazes me, right? What what just is why Trump was it just because he was the guy at the time? I think I think Trump <laughs> tapped into what the entire country was feeling. Yeah, I don't disagree. That they were just fed up with the political machine. Yeah, I get it. And he tapped into that. And who better to run this country than a man who ran business? Yeah, well, you know, we okay. have a different opinion I, and, of his and, business. And, and I know we do, and, okay? <laughs> but you know what? That's the great thing about America. Yeah. We can agree to disagree. Yeah. yeah. And, and I'm okay with that. Yeah, I was not a fan of Donald Trump long before... He uh, he became president. Of uh, I, I can tell you this. He's everything I was raised not to be. I, I I can tell you this. When I when I met this man, mm -hmm. Chris, the the energy, the enthusiasm, the I immediately compared it to what is shuffling around the White House now. Well, I'd rather have, uh, and it's like night and day. I'd rather have integrity and honesty. Well, but isn't that, isn't that subjective, on. though? Hold on. Sure. It matters on the part. Look, I'm going to say that Donald Trump, li he lies. He brags about himself. He does. Brags about himself all the time. He was born with, He was born on third base, thinks he had a triple. He started out life so hard with like two to $400 million. I can't remember what the figure is. It was, it was 100 that he Or $100 million dollars from his dad. Billion. You know what I mean? This Well, that's there, there's some dispute about that. I'm not going to get into those arguments. For me, for me... Donald Trump is not any is not any different is not any different than the establishment. He's not. He but loves he's, but, he's, but he's not. He's the establishment. I think, I think he he's was a at lot Hillary's different. wedding. You know, he he has he has donated to these people for years. I think he has, what people. But I think what people saw in those Republican debates was a bunch of stiffs and Donald Trump. Yeah. You know, that's it. I mean, we can agree on that. This guy is really good with the crowd. I've been to many rallies, and that part where he says, "Look at those." evil sons of bitches depressed in the back everybody turns around and i'll tell you what it was funny you'll love this story uh i had a, I had a kid who was a local high school kid and he came uh to one of the rallies with me you know he was like mm -hmm. shadowing us for a day and we're sitting there and we got to that part where trump turns and says you know six everybody on the media and this kid he turns to me he says are we gonna be okay and i said probably yeah <laughs> and, 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 and chris you know you can see in this room tonight yeah okay like, and again, it's after sitting here talking with you, mm -hmm. I'm sure we can go out, have another smoke and have, have a conversation like two men. Sure could. Okay. But with what you write, where you were almost writing as if you feared for your safety for coming here. No, tonight. I, you know, I really didn't. And I, I don't feel, you know, look. the impression from reading it. Well, some people got that impression. That no, look, you, you know, this is uh, this was an unknown thing. There were no details given to me. And people, you know, uh, people get ticked off. And there's a lot of people who are really, really mad. Now, I don't see those people in this room, but they might be. So what I heard from a lot of people was, man, you shouldn't go. You shouldn't, you know, it was never an option. I was always coming. But, you know, um, you know, some of that was just kind of, uh, you know, acknowledging that, you know, I didn't expect to be beat up here or shot or any no, kind of stuff. That's not who that's we not, are. Chris. Well, I'm not saying it is. It's that's who some who people are. are, right? And and uh, you know, I'm just not worried about that. No. And you know, you have a 10 percent on each side. Oh man, which is that radical end? Oh, Jesus. Okay. You know, this country is this. You know, and I, I've written this many, many times. You know, the middle of this country doesn't have anything to do with running it. It's always the two extremes. It's the extreme right. It's the extreme left. They get yeah. all the ink. And they get all the power 
and I've said this forever, Purple America is going to have to find a way to stand up together. You're right. Because this is not going to get righted. It's not going to get fixed. You know, and now we have. And so, look, I don't know. I don't know if there's going to be another insurrection. I know that there are people out there pushing that kind of thing. Right. I love this country. And I, you know, I love all my fellow Americans. I don't want to see that happen. All right. I know there's a lot of problems with the institutions in this country, but that has been, you know, a lot of that stuff has been worsened by people who are deliberately trying to, I got no interest in lying to you. Okay. This, this idea that I, uh, you know, I have like a liberal media card that I flash at the supermarket and I get free stuff. You know what I mean? I, I, I have a mortgage, right? I'm driving a 10 year old car. It's a Ford Fusion, for God's sake. Brother, mine's 15 years old. <laughs> well, okay. And I got a mortgage too. Right. Okay? right. And you got you a mortgage. What I mean? And what I'm saying is, I got no, the only thing I have, my only asset professionally is my credibility. That's it. You guys don't think I have any, but there are some people who do. But my point is, I have no interest in lying to you. And this is what I wish people would say. Who does benefit from lying to you? Who is, who are the people? It's not me. I'm a working class guy still. Yeah. You might think I make a lot of money. I don't. I'm well, it's the best money I've ever made, but I'm not rich by any stretch. And frankly, I don't need to be. I think I'm like most Americans. I just want to be comfortable. I just want to be able not to worry about paying the next bill. And I don't need to be rich. Hey, Chris, that's exactly how I am. If there I want to be rich, I go you know? back into business. Yeah. Okay. I'm out. And you know, this, this little boy over here, is that your son? That's my son. What's his name? Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels. That's real. <laughs> That's real. Of course it is. That's real. At least that it's not, little it's not guy Donald there, J. Daniels. You know? That little guy there yeah. is what motivated me right. to jump into this arena. Yeah. Okay? I get it. And, and I'll be honest with you. I learned a lot last cycle mm. about how dirty, corrupt, and how much of a hellhole <laughs> politics oh, is, is, okay? So I told myself, you know what? I'm not going to play I understand. the political game mm -hmm. because let them play the game. What I does, just want- What, what I, does that mean? Oh, the, you know, you know, the guys go around, kiss the ring, okay? And it, it happens on both sides. Sure. You know, you didn't ask- us permission if yeah. you could i don't need to ask you shit okay yeah. chris trust me i think i give it to republicans you do need the votes though yes but i think i give it to republicans <clears throat> sometimes more than you do that's fine okay you know maybe that's true but you need those people to vote for you my big issue is 10 15 years from now I don't want this little boy coming to me saying, Dad, how come nobody stood up and fought for us? Mm. Okay? So. Is that your wife, by the way? Yes. Hi. What's your name? Jane, nice, to nice to meet you. So I, I think you're very passionate about what you do. I'm very passionate about what I do. Mm. Okay? I think, however, we have come on some common ground tonight. Sure. Okay. Sure. I'm going to really get it. Mm -hmm. They're going to say you should never have sat there. Who's going to say that? Oh, readers. I mean, there are some people who think, you know, you know, I mean, I wrote that. A lot of people think I'm giving Teddy Anki he hasn't earned and all that. But isn't it, stuff. but isn't it good that you've. Oh yeah. No, I think so. No, I, mean, I don't I mean? care about that. But, Look, but no, I take it from the right and left. Trust me on that. Yeah. And you know, I mean, it's just, I'm glad we did it. I mean, uh, you answered my question. And, uh, you know, I got some other ones. Maybe we'll get to those some other time. But, yeah, I mean, I see a lot of people here, too, that I know. Yeah. And, and Chris, here's the thing. I, I think I think what people want mm -hmm. is they just want fair. That's it. They just want fair. Yeah. But let okay. me ask you this. What, what about your commercial says that? What, about being fair? Yeah, just about anything. Like, what, what are your... Do you have any platforms? Do you have any policies? Do you have any things? Have you been you have, to my website? I haven't. No, I'm asking. I mean, I haven't okay. looked. Yeah, obviously. I'll be honest. I will. Yeah. You know? Obviously, I do. Okay. Okay? And 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 I'm more conservative than most on my issues and policies. Yes. Yeah. Okay? But your ad doesn't say that. Well, no, I'm not going to discuss it says the Teddy tax Sma policy. It says Teddy Smash. That's what it I'm says. I'm not. Chris, this was <laughs> an initial campaign ad. Okay. 
And trust me, I think if anybody can make a tax policy ad exciting, mm. I could do it. But that wasn't the intent <laughs> of that. Nobody could do that. Of no, that initial right. ad. Make a tax policy exciting? No. <laughs> All right. So we're going to see if we can get that done then. I'm going there to make a tax policy, policy, yeah. policy That's your challenge. Yeah. Exciting. Yeah. Okay. That's your challenge. But what, what I wanted to accomplish tonight, Chris. Hold Everybody, on. Hold on. Thank you. <laughs> what I wanted to accomplish tonight was for two men to sit down. Yeah. Okay. Discuss some of our differences sure. openly. Yeah. Okay. And I'm sure if we wanted to sit down and discuss all our differences, we would need a full weekend. It would take a long time. Okay. No doubt about that. However, that we can discuss those differences respectfully. Yes. Okay. This is a, this is a big, uh, yeah, this is a rarity. I'm, and I'm, I'm happy about this. Go and ahead. I think that that right there is a good thing. Yeah. Okay. I know that you are not the son of Satan. Okay. <laughs> running around the offices of the Scranton Times and everything you record, touch first in the flames, all right? <laughs> but I also want you to see, Chris, that the people here to support Trump, mm -hmm. the people here who are America First type people, right? these are not bad people. I didn't say they were. Okay? They're not bad people. Hmm? Veterans that serve this country. That's, that's what we represent. I've well, never denigrated his service. Well, he hasn't. He has not. I got denigrated veterans here service. backing me up tonight. And again, we're we're being fair. Okay, we're being fair. He hasn't. Okay. That I've been covering veterans here abroad. I've been at their funerals. I've done. I'm I'm proud yeah, of my work. You went work overseas, with didn't you? Yeah, I was in Iraq. I was in Bosnia. I went with our soldiers. I've been at their funerals. I met their families. I don't have anything to prove to you or anybody else about veterans. I got some here tonight. They're all heroes to me. And I've gotten to know them as people, not numbers, because I went there with them. I was embedded. All right. I walked the streets of Baghdad with them at night. I did the ride in the Humvee, all that stuff. I was there. I ate with them, slept in the same tent with them. So it really bothers me when, uh, when people jump on the veterans thing. The Doesn't fit me. The and my newspaper has always been there for them, too. And I just think, I just think, Chris, that we're at a point in history right now. Yes. Where we need to start coming together. I agree. As people. Couldn't agree more. And to stop the divisiveness. Now, and again, in my ad, we, we, we talked about this. We need to fix what's wrong in our own house. Okay. Absolutely. Before we can go out and fix anything else. Which is why you guys all know I'm not a party guy. Okay. We need to fix that first. Okay. And the Democrat Party, they got their issues too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, Jack. Honey. Do you want to give him some whiskey? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, obviously, they need to fix their wheelhouse as well. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Now, one thing we got to realize is we're all in this together right now. We always okay? And instead of every day constantly trying to tear people apart, mm -hmm. we should be looking for common ground to bring people together. Sure. Okay? Yeah. And that's... I agree. Couldn't agree more. We should be looking for common we, ground. We need to start doing. Yeah. Um, so I'll, I'll, let, I'll let Chris finish up if... I'm just, you know, again, man, you know, I, I, I want to go back to the whole, like I get, I don't get your approach to this. You're at, you're what you're doing politically, right? With your ads and the things that you say, the videos you've made over the past couple of days, they're not geared towards bringing people together, right? And no, wait, neither wait, wait, are your articles. No, that's right. But that's not my job. I'm not running for anything. Okay. Right. Are that's your not articles. my job. What I'm saying is that stuff plays in Wayne County. And it plays with, the, you know, your supporters here. That don't, it don't play downtown, man. It doesn't play in Scranton. And it's not gonna. And that's why I say to you, you know, this is some free political advice. You know what? I, I, you know what? I'm going to give some to Bognet, too. I'm going to give some to Bognet. <laughs> give a lot more to I'm going to give some to Bognet. I'm going to say, you remember last time he beat you by a field goal, right? He showed yeah. he kicked the field goal, right? Yeah. Kicked the field goal. That was his main. Vote for me. I can kick a football, right? So this time he should get a, like a, a blocking dummy and put Cartwright's face on it. 
and tackle it. He should blitz it in the end zone. That's that that uh, that's what he should do. You know, and uh, you know, I just I just think you know again, m- you know, maybe you you know maybe this is maybe you think this is the right way to go, but you, you know, elections are won on the margins. That's where this whole thing started. Me pointing that out with Kelly Barrett's you know re- run. You know, you have to convince more people. If you want to bring people together, you're going to have to reach beyond. So are you being your critical of, of the campaign? And, well, yeah, and how, I mean, well, so I that, just don't I mean, understand. Like, is Look, that I've the confusing watched, thing for I've people? I've watched 100 campaigns. I've yeah. covered, what, six presidents? Probably 600 whatever. campaigns. Yeah, I mean, really, lots of campaigns. And 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 the one thing that is that is more true, the, the one truism that, that is never violated is that you win on the margins. Your base is your base, but you got to get other people. Oh, I agree. I agree. But- you take a look at what's happening right now. And, and I said this earlier, fuel oil for people's homes this year is going to be double than what it was yeah. last winter. Okay. Mm-hmm. I carry no responsibility for putting Joe Biden in office. I carry no responsibility for making that happen. You're giving him total responsibility for the, for the inflation. <laughs> and the, the, and, hold on. And, guys, and the pandemic on, on, had nothing to do with it. The buck stops here, right? Sure. The buck stops here. Okay. You look at the Afghanistan withdrawal. Mm-hmm. You look at everything that's happened. Let me tell you, Chris, there, there's so many old school, middle of the road Democrats. Yeah. Okay. They're out there. That have come on board with me saying, Teddy, I'm with you. This needs to stop. Mm-hmm. We need to change. Okay. And <clears throat> what they're tired of is... The same establishment politicians that go around and they deliver their pre-scripted GOP lines, okay, to try to pull in the middle or try and pull in this and pull in that. Mm. And then they go down there and, Chris, they they don't do a damn thing, okay? The American people right now are looking for somebody to go to D.C. to put a foot in someone's What about our state legislature? You got any interest in them? None whatsoever. It's been solidly Republican for 15 years. And you know what? I'm not happy with 90% of them. Okay. Because you could run for state rep and win. Oh, I know. I know that. Easily. Easily. I know that. All right. I have no interest. Mm. I'm going after the big fight. Okay. Well. So. (laughs) That's your choice. (laughs) If if I may. uh, You may. (laughs) It seems like everybody wants a cigarette. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I mean, I got to get home to my wife. So you know, I, I, for everybody in this room, I want to say thank you for being quiet and being respectful yeah. and and being appreciative of this conversation. And I want to especially thank Chris for being here because mm-hmm. like I said at the beginning, it takes brass balls <laughs> to show up and do this. And I and I really, I think everybody appreciates thank it. I so appreciate thank you. That. Thank you. Um, it seems to me that there's a lot of common ground that could be worked off of it's not up to anybody. I'm just making it's, a blanket statement. I'm not, yeah, I'm not holding it's, anybody it's to very anything. very basic. Yeah. No, but we, I mean, it seems that's like... a big blanket. Yeah. That's, it's, it seems to me that there's a lot of commonality and maybe the the divisiveness on both sides should be, let's ask first before we judge. And that's everybody. Yeah. You know, that's the hope. Somebody once told me hope is another word for fail or something. So... Well, this is let me say. I mean, you know, look, not, not to be a jerk, but... This hasn't changed my opinion of Teddy very no, much. No, 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 no. But it, but it, but it's it, not. But we can be cordial, but you know what I but mean. But that's no, not, and that's but fine. That's, that's progress. Yeah. That's fine. All right. You know. So all I, want, I well, all, and again, and I said this from the jump. All I wanted to do was sit down mm-hmm. and had a conversation. That works. That's it. And I know now that I I need to contact you via email. Absolutely. <laughs> do you want to give me your email after this? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah. Boris has got it. Boris has got it. I'll Boris has got so, it. So, uh, gentlemen, I think you're both truly Americans. And I'm, and I'm very grateful that you were sharing this conversation with us and, and uh, you know, whatever the future is, it is, but this moment happened and I I'm grateful that you guys. Thanks for it. ambushing me. I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, I was ambushed with, with this, just uh, like you. Oh, I stop, wait, it, stop making no, me the villain. I was. So yeah. thank you everybody. All right. Thanks, thank man. You. Thanks. Make sure you get toys in the bins, everybody. If you don't have a toy, go get one. You have until December 10th.